everyone it's time for another monday update i have been working on a longer feeding video that is not a death match that i want to share with you and you know how every once in a while i just have to be weird because you know i i am weird i mean you really can't really change you know you can't change your feathers right zebra can't change his stripes they say well zebra is always there i'm having some trouble with this feeding video introduction because I haven't been able to film it because there's this George person who keeps possessing me. And I think it's because it's close to Halloween. I just don't know, but George, George has done all kinds of stuff and he's gotten a hold of the editing. I can't do anything. So George made me wear a vampire outfit in he did everything on that feeding video. I have no control. George is me. So whatever George wants once in a while, we got to let George do something. I don't know. I think that George is really Uncle T. Now, Uncle T is supposedly on vacation. He's down in like Yuma, which is a really boring place, I think. But I'm not sure that he's really down there. And, you know... With all this magical Halloween stuff going on, maybe he has other ways. You know, he is a bit weird. Anyway, it's a little bit Halloween-ish. I hope you enjoy it, even though it's a bit cuckoo. Let me tell you about some things that happened this week. So I have a local uh, pet store here that um, I really love. They're a really small mom and pop shop and they have tarantulas. They've started offering tarantulas. And, you know, I've been able to go in and help them put their tarantulas into um, some new setups. I did that once. And um, also, they're having trouble with their roach supplier. So I happened to just have an explosion of red runners. So I took those in last week and traded them for this beautiful big piece of cork bark. And also, what else did I get? I got an OBT. A little tiny sling the P Muranus of the rehousing video for that and I'm gonna add that to this update and I also have a uh, vinegar rune and uh, he told me that she might be gravid and she'd been in the store for you know like six months or more so he said he wanted her to go to a good home so I have her and I'll insert some photos of her here for you to see as well and I put her into her new setup um, and so let's see, I think I did a couple of other rehousing of some of my little ones that had been in deli cups and I really wanted to get them out of those deli cups. Uh, I know that they can dry out and that's one of the concerns I've heard experienced keepers mention is, you know, get them out of the deli cups because they can, they can really dry out. I think Dean at Dean's Tarantulas had told me that. And I, I did continue to keep some of them in deli cups because they were so tiny, but that's also because I knew that I was going to be checking them every day and make sure that they were hydrated and all of that. But if I had been out of the house a lot more, then I think that, you know, um, I, I would have rehoused them sooner just for that reason. Um, so I have those rehousings for you. Uh, a couple of those are, let's see, a Cochiana Brunapis, um, a Syria Cosmos Rite, and a, an H. Villicella, the little dwarf chestnut baboon. Uh, and those all went really well. What else do I have? Well, I have two H. Pol Polker Pies now. One, um, she's gotten pretty big since like last May, I think I got her in Monroe at the Reptile Expo. And she molted recently and she gave me a really nice feeding video. Gave me, gave the roaches a little bit of a threat pose. That'll be in this video I have coming up and I'm hoping I can release that today. Um, also, I have my little LP. I have two of those as well, two um, Laziodora Parahibanas. One is Peekaboo, that's LP number two. She's bigger, but she was one that I purchased after the first one, which is a sling still and that one has grown quite a bit the sling and i i got a feeding video with that one and i had the roach on the tongs and it it yeah it flew i mean it flew at the tongs uh that was 
interesting. I didn't expect it. So, and you'll see how fast she just flies. It almost looks like it's sped up. I was just kind of a blur. And then I couldn't stop laughing, but then I was a little concerned because I hoped that she didn't bite the tongs. Um, so anyway, um, and then, uh, let's see. I have two uh, Brachypelma albopelosum. One is a Nicaraguan, one is a Honduran. I think these are those are all the tarantulas that I have uh, two of that are of the same gene, um, same genus and species. So um, other than that, I oh, I just have singles of everybody. Uh, so yeah, let me share those clips with you, and that will be oh one other thing is that now I'm going to I'm going to make a huge bin for my roaches because their their breeding has been so successful that I might be able to become a roach supplier. So that is really exciting for me because I'll be able to trade for, you know, credit toward um, buying some really nice exoterras and, and things like that for my tarantulas and that will really help me out because I'm on I'm on a really tight budget so that will be that would be just wonderful if that works out. So I'm getting ready for that. Just have to make a hole in the top of a of um, the huge bin and put some mesh over the top and get them all moved in there. I'm sure they're going to be thrilled with all the extra room they're going to have. So that is my project for this week. And so I hope that you enjoy these rehouse videos and uh, I will talk to you soon. Big bin. Um, you can see that they are in this one right now. So that's a big change for, for my roaches. I just wanted to show you that real quick. So I got this little vinegaroon. There she is. I'm gonna get her to walk over onto this lid. As I see, you got pinchers and biters. Pinchers and biters and squirters. Okay, here she is. into her new place. Walk off. Yes, I know. You're pissed at me. Don't walk off the edge, though. Just go off onto your... There you go. That probably wasn't wasn't the best. She just fell right off of her log. All right. Poor thing's down there struggling. Now she's got stuff all over her. Sorry. No more deli cup. Probably a little bit pissed off at me too. She's gonna have to get used to her new space. She has some logs to get under. Checking it out. I'll pat it down a little bit so it's a little in the water dish. And it's got the entire top of its um, container webbed up. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So all I had to do was really pick it up and the little one went completely up inside of its webbing. I can try picking this up and placing it in the new enclosure like that. I have my catch cup ready.
Go down onto your cork bark. And there you have it. And that's how I rehouse this OBT. So what it did was it went up inside of its, I just, you saw me tapping it and kind of moving the top around. And so it went inside of here for safety. So I could just take the lid off and put the lid down. And it decided, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna run down um, the plant here. There's a little OBT right there. I'm gonna add this little piece of cork bark with the webbing on it into the enclosure. Team Uranus hiding underneath this fern. That's all he really wants to do is get away and hide and be safe. Here we have a Serio Cosmos Rite, the Peruvian black and white, rehousing into one of these small baseball enclosures. There we go. Right down into the new home. That here is a really tiny H. villocella, which is the uh, chestnut baboon. This is a dwarf species and it's really small. I'm not sure. Okay, I just used the same technique I used with the little OBT because all of the webbing is stuck to the, the top. Um, and I'm hoping I can just lower the web down inside. I know, I'm disturbing your home. Maybe it'll just... Oh, crap. It's too bad. My left hand doesn't work very well. Still. All right. So there. We don't want it to fall. See, it's cute little spinnerets. Okay. So that's how I rehouse my H. villicella. Didn't go through any kind of um, cups or anything. Let's see if I can see it in there. There's just a little bum right there. <laughs> Pretty cute. Alright, that's how I rehoused another cute little baboon. Here we have a Cochiana Brunapis. This is the dwarf pink leg. to the new enclosure. Come on. Doesn't want to come out, of course. I wouldn't want to either.
All right, deciding to go way down. Come on, back out. We've got a really a deep little burrow down in there. Inside, come on onto your onto your plant. Come on. All right, right onto the fern. Been in these little deli cups because they were so tiny. There it is, right there. Here's the vinegaroon. She is exploring her new home. She's been in a deli cup for a while at the store. Got her from Holly's Reptiles. She was a freebie. She seems really interested in her new house. What an interesting creature. She has claws in the front. She has her feelers. She's getting a lay of the land that way. And then she has her whip tail, and from that she can spray acid. Just look at her. She's so prehistoric and different. And a bit clumsy as well.